Well, the rain is here. We are seeing a whole bunch of it today. And I guess, Garth, you're saying this, uh, we're right now in the middle of the yeah. worst of it, right? I think for this today. Is the worst of it because it's the longest prolonged period. What we're going to see next come through will be more showery in nature. It'll be a quicker hitter. It could still drop quite a bit of right. rain. Uh, but it might be a little more thunderstormy in nature. Mm -hmm. So, lots to get to. And you know what that affects? Always the washes or the oh, rivers, yeah, depending on which you like to call me. From here, like me, you call them the washes, but you can see how filled they get. Please be careful. Invariably, somebody gets out and they have swift water rescues going on. That endangers the life of the firefighters, the people down there as well. So, just stay away if you can. Plus, there is a lot of debris and a lot of stuff that you need hazmat treatment, believe it or not, that has flowed through these things. So, be careful there. Underneath all of that is quite a bit of debris that is not very safe. Meanwhile, it's safe to say we have flash flood watches everywhere right now that we've been talking about. These are the things we were speaking about for several days. Flood warnings, flash flood warnings currently in effect still for the Colby burn fire area. That will continue through about 2, 215 today and out towards up by Newberry Park, the Solomar fire area. That should be coming down in just about 15 minutes. So we're watching that very, very carefully. Lots going on on Doppler. Look at the heavy amount. We were just talking about uh, the voluntary evacuations down towards the south that could be happening out towards the Silverado fire area. And you can see the reason why. Heavy rain just starting to pour into South Orange County. I'm going to get you there in a second. I want to take you to the Colby fire. This is where the action continues above Glendale by the 39. It has been heavy rain. Rainfall rates at about a half an inch an hour have been coming down for several hours up there. That's why they are experiencing debris flow as we speak. Starting to lighten up just a little bit, but doesn't matter. Damage is done right now. More heading that way. Remember, this is all coming from offshore, uh, onshore. The 210 freeway I spoke about a little bit ago, out by San Fernando Sun Valley, coming away from the 14, off by Pear Blossom, our friends in the high deserts, and up towards the Acton area. A lot of rain has been falling there. Into the foothills, you can see it's affecting your drive as you come down in towards the 5 where it was shut down yesterday. Then we'll get you out towards the fires we talked about. This is the other, uh, uh, the Solomar fire that we were talking about with uh, the advisory or the warning that should be coming down in about 15 minutes. Lighter showers there, but they've been getting a lot of rain through Agoura Hills, Thousand Oaks, West Lake, all the way down to Agoura Hills. Then you can see downtown Los Angeles. Now, we work it down towards the OC. Good day, OC. Heavy rain moving onshore. San Clemente up right through the 5. Irvine, Mission Viejo, you're getting spanked right about now. Up the coast a little farther. Hawthorne, all through the west side, has been getting hit very, very hard as this continues to rule and move itself onshore. Laguna, there you go. San Clemente, all the way down the five. Nobody is escaping it today. And this is only going to continue to be this way as we make our way through the atmosphere or through the afternoon. So I think what we're going to see for most of the day today is this continue to propagate itself off to the east, get a little clearing from the west first. Snow continues to fly, but the biggest amount of snow issues will be over the next couple of days as our snow levels begin to come down. You can see that into the future cast as we continue to try to dry it out just a little bit. It'll still be showery in nature, but the worst of it right now, gone by tomorrow again. It'll start to pick up in the morning throughout the day tomorrow. That's where we start to get one, a little more thunderstorm in nature. Lots going on. Suffice it to say, everybody getting a taste of some El Nino today. Be careful, take care of your pets, and please stay out of any sort of water six inches or more. Just wait it out. Don't drive through it and try to hang in there as you go around some of the street flooding that's going on right now. Juan?